we have been doing uh, a series on this show called Race uh, in America. Today, installment number three. Let me begin um, with you, Jerry Lang. How important is it that we have this sort of discussion about race in America? I, I think it's the single most important uh, topic that uh, this country needs to, to discuss. And we have, been, we have been cowards. As a nation, we've been cowards about facing up to it, which is why I think uh, the first two parts of this series are so important. And uh, I'm, I, I'm really proud of what we're doing on the show. It's so important that, that we've got it on the table, that it's up on the board. It's, it's the subject, as Jerry said. I'm, I'm white. Okay, by any, by any definition, I'm about as white as you can get. Uh, I couldn't agree more. And is it, am I the ideal person to lead a conversation about race? Well, yeah. you're good. In this frank white, way that we're doing it. For the now. white side, you'd be good, great. Right. Well, I mean, that's why it's important that we're having the talk here with a, a mixture of people. Mm -hmm. I am English with a little bit of Scandinavian, which, uh, right. uh, you know, probably gives me a slightly different perspective. And uh, quarter Scottish, uh, eighth Knickerbocker Dutch, mostly English. OK, so from, again, from a whole nother quadrant. Right. Yeah. I know I do have some Flemish. From the, the French-speaking area of Belgium? I don't know. Yeah. I just know it's Flemish. That's where it is. Yeah, mixed with um, some Italian. So you bring, I'll just say it, some Southern European biases and prejudices. Um, and Norm? Uh... Well, uh, funny you should ask, because I guess I can bring a different perspective than everybody else here. I actually had a DNA test done. Turns out that, uh, you know, of course, I come from uh, Eastern European uh, Jewish descent. Uh -huh. Turns out that I go back to Genghis Khan. So I've got an oriental side to me that I didn't even know and about. So and so I actually have a, a you know, you you're almost, I'm a mixed race uh, person, and I can take a little different perspective but, but you're than almost, the rest of you. But you're almost royalty. You uh, said it from Genghis Khan. I mean, when you're applying to one of those country clubs down in uh, down in the D.C. area, I know there's some some very nice ones that still um, are very restrictive. Do you, do you bring up the Genghis Khan thing? It uh, depends on which club you're talking about. Uh, right. But, you know, I, I, if I were going to join uh, one of the country clubs there, it would be one of the Jewish country clubs. And I'm not uh -huh. sure. Uh, uh, actually, and they, they don't let any black you know people what? in. The research shows. Nobody. And they've, and they've got everything. At those Jewish clubs, as I understand it, they've got everything. It's just a little bit better than at the Gentile clubs. Yeah, Is that the, how it works? Uh, that's generally the case. This could be a nine or ten part topic. So, so here's where we find ourselves. Uh, it's 2010. Uh, we have a black president, we have a black first lady, and they have two black children. Hypothetical. You're walking down the street uh, here in New York. It's late at night. You're well-dressed. Maybe you've had a little uh, too much to drink. And at the end of the deserted street, um, a young black man mm. uh, approaches. What's going through your mind? Well, uh, two years ago, uh, you may get a little frightened, a little. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, now we'd have to say it could be um, the president of the United States. It could be the president. But exactly. The odds, Does that frankly, change the your odds perception? Are, are very remote, but it could be. Yeah. Well, it is, it is bracing, uh, I think, when uh, this taboo subject uh, gets an airing of the sort that we're giving it here today. A uh, that, that, uh, well, let, me, let me just, it gets an airing of the sort that we, the, the people, people yes. are mm -hmm. giving it mm -hmm. here today. Norm? Well, I don't want to tread on the experts' area, Linda's area, but, <laughs> you know, it shouldn't be just us talking about this. You've got these Twitters and tweets going on. Every viewer ought to be tweeting about this subject, because how better to get a real, deep, and textured understanding than using Twitter? We've got to keep talking about it. Talking about it is, it's almost more important than doing anything, uh, to just keep talking and talking and talking until and uh, the problem goes away. Yeah. And tweeting. And Get talking. the words out.